Hi there, in the previous video, we have generated HTML report and it looks something like this. In this video, we are going to generate HTML extra report and you could see that it has a much nicer UI and also provides some additional features compared to normal HTML report. So the first step that you have to do is install this and to do so in your browser, search this Newman HTML extra report. You will get this link, click on that and scroll down you see that reporter works as a plugin with newman so newman is required uh, on, onto your machine to check that whether you have newman or not type in this command newman hyphen hyphen version and you see that all right the next step that you have to do is come here you have to install this globally onto your machine. I've already done that. All you have to do is copy this command, paste into your command prompt and hit enter. The module would get installed. Once that is installed, everything is pretty much the same there. Newman run. This is my collection. I'm using environment also. So I have to use environment in here. Then I'm using the data file. I also need to provide that id.json then the next thing that i have to do is r and i'm going to use uh and let's go to the site now and what they are saying the usage is this so hyphen r html extra so let me paste that in here okay uh then the next thing that we have to do is the choice is yours if you want to generate that in a default folder newman you don't need to provide the path but if you want to generate it at a specific location you have to use this flag and then we say uh, html extra report so inside that folder generate me extra dot html extra html that's the name of the report extra dot html all right so inside this working directory it is going to create one more folder extra report okay and inside that this report should be generated and i have to use one more flag in my case because i'm not passing in the certificate so let me hit that and yeah it's executed so let me open that folder VS code HTML extra report folder is here and let me open this and open in Google Chrome okay why it is taking so much of time yeah so here's our report finally you could see that two iteration uh, total assertions test case fail you can click on these total requests then you can again expand your request and see all the information request method was typed this was your url right in iteration number one so you can switch between iterations from here okay and all these request headers response headers and response body you know you can see everything in here okay pass fail all right uh, so yeah this uh is about the request uh fail test cases so the, these are the fail test cases okay and any skip test cases that you may have okay so this is your html extra report okay so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video